What's up, everybody? My name is James, aka Jimmy Two Take. And I am Anna, also known as Anna McNaughty, and together we're Leave the Map. Welcome to part one of today's video series. In part one of this video series, we will be learning how we edit our photos using Adobe Lightroom and then publishing those photos straight to Adobe Stock. Let's get started. All right, guys, welcome to today's video where we will be going over how to edit your photos in Lightroom and publish them straight to Adobe Stock inside of Lightroom. Very quick and easy, but super efficient, super useful for all of your stock contribution needs and uh, a little bit of Lightroom editing. So let's get started. So right here we have my uh, Lightroom program opened. Nothing in here right now, just because I wanted to show you exactly where we're going to start. So in most cases, you'll look along the left-hand side here and see a catalog, folders, collections, and right under collections, you'll see publish services. So I've gone ahead and done this already for you guys to save a little bit of time. But what you will notice is you have Adobe Stock, Facebook, and Flickr below, and you can actually go to get some more services. But for today's video, we are just talking about Adobe Stock. Now I've already published and set up my Adobe Stock account in here to make it easier. But if we toil the arrow down, you'll notice that I have seven images inside of this Adobe Stock folder that I've already added. So we're gonna open that up. And inside of this folder, we have new photos to publish and published photos. Now, if I had dragged in all of these photos and haven't published any of them, they'd all be showing up in the new photos to publish. But just like the rest of your Lightroom dashboard, it functions the same way. It just divides it by what you've published and what you are about to publish. So before we get into editing this actual photo, a good point to know when uploading photos to Adobe Stock is to really keep your images clean, simple, not over edited, and something that anyone would actually want to purchase from your Adobe Stock contributions. So, you know, these leaves are really easy, some fall foliage, a simple hand, this canoe, um, some simple, really clean images that are going to pop and be useful for a lot of different cases. You know, a lot of people on Adobe Stock might be using it for design work, for posters, for digital prints. So you don't wanna have a cluttered image. You wanna have something that is really pleasing to the eye and is going to benefit you in the end and hopefully uh, generate some passive revenue. So we're gonna quickly open this photo here. We have a very simple fall foliage up in the White Mountains of New Hampshire. For those that are new to Lightroom, we're gonna go into the develop tab here. And this is where we're going to quickly edit our image so that we have a final edited photo for Adobe Stock. And I'm not really going to do much to this just because we don't want to over edit it. So we're going to bring the shadows up a little bit. I tend to like to desaturate my yellows and greens a little bit. So we're going to go down here to the saturation tab. If we pull the green down, the blues would be nice to give them a little bit more of a, a hue. We're gonna do that here. Maybe bring the luminance down, make those blues pop, and just pull that saturation down a little bit. Take the blacks down and maybe bring those whites up to make those clouds pop. And a little warmer to really give it that fall day look. So we have the before and the after. So for today's tutorial, that looks pretty good. Okay, so for today's tutorial, that edit looks pretty good. Now let's go back into our library and we have our edit here and all we're going to do is go up to the right hand side and click publish. Now that takes a couple minutes to publish. Okay, so now when we go into my Adobe Stock dashboard, you'll notice that right in these files is our newly uploaded edit that we just edited in Lightroom. So very simple to upload. If we go back into Lightroom, that photo is now out of the new photos to publish folder and into the publish photos folder. So this is a good way to keep track of what you've actually published and what you still need to publish. Now as one final step to show you guys how to actually submit these photos for approval, we're going to take this image that we just edited and go over to the right and add a little bit of metadata to make our photo a little bit more searchable. So you'll see recognizable people or property. We are going to select no here and just type a simple title. So let's call this fall foliage and make it really simple. Okay. And you'll notice that Adobe Stock already generates a lot of these keywords for you. 
We can typically add more, but just for today's lesson, we're gonna keep this at five. And now you are ready to submit this image for approval using Adobe Stock. So we have a green arrow up here. Click Submit for Approval. And you are all set. So that image is now in your review folder. And once it's reviewed, you are all set to contribute your photos using Adobe Stock. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for the next series where Anna talks about how she uses Adobe Stock in Photoshop.